Curry, dog. Ooh. The ball's flat. What is up sneaker world it is your boy sneaker life back with another video under armor came through if you haven't noticed recently under armor has been heavily messing with a lot of youtubers so either you've seen these already or you haven't seen them and you will see them but yeah man under armor has been seeding a couple actually a lot of youtubers so that's cool man it's great to see everyone succeeding jordan brand is finally reaching out and sending stuff to people and Shout out to everyone that's been getting packages, man. And if you are not getting packages yet or you're not getting seated, don't worry about it, man. It's it's It'll take time, but just keep putting out videos. Just keep grinding and you'll have your opportunity. I mean, look how long I've been doing it and I'm just now getting seated. Don't even trip about it, man. Do it because you love it. What we have here is, as you can see from the title, the Curry 3. Um, they did send me the other Currys a couple days ago. If you haven't seen the Why Don't My Yeezys Glow Yet video, uh, I kind of showed you guys those. You weren't really feeling them. I still have not yet to try them on and take them to the gym. Um, personally, I got a lot of questions about Currys, okay? I did. I used to get them all the time. Yo, Mike, can you do a review on these? Are they dope? Are they worth it? I don't know. I never really decided to just go out and buy them. So... Now here is kind of my opportunity to really be honest with you guys and see if I really rock with them because even though I am getting these packages, I'm not gonna front about a shoe if it ain't, if I'm not feeling it, you know? I just, I don't find any purpose in that. If anything, if I don't like it, maybe there's something that they can improve on. It's just like when the Jordan 30 came out and I did the performance test on it and people were so mad that I said how terrible that shoe was, yet even the kick genius they even said it was trash and i put out the video before them and i said it was trash but nobody believed me like it's just about being honest if a company ain't gonna rock with you for being honest bye oh, we'll just open the box now one thing i wonder is if everyone got a different color because i saw sneakerhead in the beige pair i'm pretty sure it was black and yellow and then I know Kais just went to the Under Armour event and he got like a camouflage version, but this is blue. I like the blue. Now, personally, when I see this shoe, it's it's very generic to me. Uh, overall, it just looks like a team basketball shoe, like something that I would have had in AAU or just in high school, they made us wear team shoes. This is, this is what it reminds me of. It's simplicity and it's a basketball shoe. As far as performance and comfort, I wouldn't know. I'm gonna have to try them on, I'm gonna have to test them out. I'll wear them a couple times this week and I'll hit you guys with an update on how I feel about them. I'm gonna do a little bird's eye view test for you guys and we'll see how they fit. Comfort wise, this is a size 12. Usually in basketball, I either wore a 12 and a 13 depending on the brand. Um, I usually stuck to a 13 when I was wearing ankle braces and I used to double sock it. But more recently, as far as like the Kobe's that I've been wearing, I usually go true to size and I wear a 12 because I like my shoes tight especially when I'm not wearing two socks or wearing an ankle brace. And retail for these is $150. And it also came with a pair of blue laces. I think the blue laces might look a little bit better, but I'm not sure. It's a pretty dope combination together, but uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? So as far as my initial thoughts on just putting them on, they're actually pretty comfortable. They are very snug. This is a size 12, like I told you guys. Um, if I was you and you wanted to pick these up and you wanted to double socket or you wear ankle braces, I highly recommend going up at least half a size. Uh, truthfully, that's what I would do. Otherwise, there's no way I could fit an ankle brace in these, nor two socks because they are super tight. I know you got to break them in a little bit, but you know, you, you kind of get the... The feeling of a shoe as far as the grip 
it feels nice right now it truly does uh i'm definitely gonna hoop in these like i'm gonna try it out i do like the, their high top you know it's funny the shoe that i played in originally back in high school like my freshman year was actually the adidas crazy light with the d rose and these kind of remind me a lot of those and i really like those i played probably freshman sophomore year maybe even junior year in those and then they kind of just tore apart on me so we'll see man i'm really looking forward to this i like that under armor is sending out basketball shoes i would love to get into like performance testing and just kind of get in the gym and get to try some different shoes out i do like them though man truthfully uh let me know what you guys think i know a lot of you have been asking questions about the curries are you guys looking forward to picking these up do you want to pick them up what is your favorite basketball shoe be sure to let me know down below but there you have it, man. Those are the Curry 3s. Stay tuned. And, man, I'm actually, I'm impressed, man. It's definitely different. Very different for me. Thank you again, Under Armour. And thank you guys, man. We are almost at 300,000 subscribers. I predict we'll probably be there within the next day. So I really appreciate you guys for that. We're going to keep going, man. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Lace Life every Sunday. I will see you guys soon. This is your boy, Sneaker Life. Run it. Yes, yeah. I really need to get back in shape because SneakerCon New York is about to be lit. I don't know if you've seen the new uh, announcements for the teams, but uh, the Dream Crew, y'all trash. Y'all about to get smacked. Who shot you? Separate the weak from the opposite. Leap hard to creep them Brooklyn streets.